The following video will guide you through how you can easily make a test booking through your online store. Test bookings are important to make sure that you have set up your website in a way that achieves the smoothest reservation experience for the customer and retrieves you all the important information you need to process your rental bookings. The following example will be performed on a bookable website made with the Rental Website Builder. You can also complete this on a website of your own. You can find tutorials for how to set up Bookable on your own website in our Help Center. And once you've embedded all the required components of Bookable onto your website, such as the date picker, the inventory and the shopping cart, you can follow this tutorial in this video. First, go to your online reservation settings and hit checkout and payments in checkout. This is a test booking, so you might not want to pay for the actual order yourself. Uh, so you can choose the option do not require payment of order amount so that you don't actually make a payment for this test booking. And if you have set up a refundable damage deposit to be applied to all of your orders already, you can make sure that is not selected and hit save. Second, you can open up your website. If you've created one with the Bookable Rental Website Builder, you can click online store and view online store. As you can see, I've completed the setup of my website completely before this step. However, if you haven't fully finished the styling, setup and customization of your website, no worries. As long as you have at least one product embedded on your store, whether that be with a rental website builder or a store of your own website, you can test out this method at any time. The first thing you can test out is the date picker, clicking it to bring up the pop-up. You can place in your dates and times and location, for example. If you'd like to change any of these settings to bring up maybe fixed durations, fixed time slots, or determine which location appear first, you can go to the rental period settings in your bookable account and watch the tutorial we have included there. Once you are happy with the dates and times you've entered, click apply. Now it's time to add products to your shopping cart. Go to the page where your products are embedded. You may have set up products on your homepage, in different collections, for example, or have an overall catalog page. Doesn't matter, just click in to add a product. The first thing you can check when you first click open a product is the availability calendar. As you can see, I have my quantities appearing on my individual days, but you can choose to hide those in your online reservation settings. Um, we've got a tutorial for our availability settings there and you can hide quantities or disable this availability calendar altogether. You can also browse through different locations here and different months and dates. You can also double check the description is as you like. You can change the product descriptions in your products individually and adjust the quantities and show that the prices are appearing as you wish. Once you're happy with that, click add to cart and the shopping cart should automatically pop up. You can adjust the quantities here if you want and press view cart. This is a display of the same cart with some options to change the rental period, dates and location. Or you can just proceed directly to your online checkout on the previous page. Now you are in the online checkout, you can make sure all the fields that you need your customer to fill out for appropriate information for this order have appeared. You can add more fields to your checkout by going to your custom fields and watching the tutorial on checkout fields. You can also use this time to test out the effectiveness of coupon codes if you have created any. I have added a full promotion of a $50 discount and I can see here that that is working. Coupon codes can be generated under pricing in bookable settings, and you can set these up to have different names and percentages or cost amount discounts to provide all of your customers for holidays or promotions. And now I will fill out my checkout fields. Once you have filled out your information, you can open up your terms and agreements to make sure that you like the look of them on your checkout pop-up. In your checkout settings in bookable, you can make this a mandatory box to select, and you can edit the text to your liking as well. Once you are happy with all of the fields here, you can click complete checkout. In your bookable orders page, the order should appear here. Depending on your availability settings, you will have had this order automatically reserve the products, which should appear on the order calendar here as reserved stock items, 
or they come through as draft or concept orders where you have to move it to reserves yourself once you're happy with the order. Click into the order that you have created and check the details. Here you will have the customer details, which you can also find in the customer section of Bookable as we have automatically created a customer profile for you. You can also hover your mouse to check the details as well. Here you will have the rental period settings as well with date, time and locations if you have. You will also find all of the information that you fill out on the online checkout uh, and all of the products of this order. If you have a coupon code, it will appear here as a discount and you can see the totals of the order as well as how much of the product is left based on this order. And over here is the payment status. So as we did not pay uh, for us, this says payment due. In future, when you start taking payments for orders online, the payment details of the customer will appear here, which you can refund if you need to in a single click. Here you can find all the links to create any documents that you need, like a contract or a quote, including also finalizing the invoice for the customer and any packing slips you can print out or download to distribute to your team in the warehouse, for example, and the email feature where you can update the customer on the status of the order and add in any email templates that you like. And that's a wrap. You have now successfully learned how to process a test booking for your rental website in Bookable.